Alex, uh, at least for the French, I guess, uh, quite a way to begin it. A perfect start, both for the host nation's team and for the organizers themselves, Jonathan, no doubt about that. France desperate to make a winning start to this Euro 2016 and try and emulate some of the great French football teams of previous years. We are 18 years since 1998 when France again played host to a major football tournament. On that occasion, it was the World Cup, and Les Bleus went on to win it for the first time in their history and then lift the European Championship two years later. That generation of players have long since retired, and now this new young side is hoping to emulate those legends of French football and put a smile back on the face of a nation that's had some pretty negative headlines uh, in recent weeks and months and even over the last uh, year and a half when you think back to the two terror attacks uh, that happened here in Paris in 2015. But yes, it wasn't all smooth running for France on the pitch against Romania in their opening game. They took the lead through Olivier Giroud, then Romania equalised after having a penalty kick awarded to them. And then just when the crowd was getting very quiet in the Stade de France behind me and a few uh, nervous fans were no doubt biting their nails, up came Dimitri Payet, who's had an amazing season in England's Premier League and he scored an absolutely stunning goal that'll get played over and over again to clinch a 2-1 victory for France, Jonathan. An amazing match to start with, but uh, there's so much going on outside of the Stade de France. You alluded to the negative headlines. The strikes that are underway, more strikes coming, the security concerns inevitably because the Stade de France was a target, as you mentioned. Uh, there seems to be a, a shadow hanging over Euro 2016. How heavily does that weigh on, on what the fans are experiencing? Well, that's right, and, and certainly one win at a game of football doesn't change all those negative headlines overnight. Uh, the latest problem in a long list of them is, as you say, fans, violence and reports coming out of uh, the port city of Marseille. And that's where England are going to play Russia uh, late on Saturday, the marquee game of day two of this uh, European Championship tournament. And uh, while that picture is changing all the time, we keep getting new figures and new reports of arrests. Um, already there was trouble in the same town uh, on Thursday, the day before this tournament kicked off as well. So that's something the organizers could do without. At the same time, they're still battling with this ever-present threat of a possible terror strike. There's even a, uh, an app that you can download warning you if there's going to be any terror strikes and alerting you as to where that is and to, to stay away from those areas. Plus the industrial action Air France begin their own strike on Saturday. That'll uh, disrupt flights, possibly going to Marseille and some of the other match venues. UEFA, the organizers, have even said they're concerned about referees getting to some of the games on time. So the problems aren't going away, but if uh, after this win for France and other good football comes along, then possibly the talk will become increasingly more about the sort of exporting action as opposed to the negative headlines away from the pitch, Jonathan.